Hey guys, it's me again. I uh, just wanted to give you an update on how I've been going with uh, with my mill. Uh, I've got everything tightened up all nice and good. Um, yeah, it's pretty much finished from um, the, all of the uh, from the table standpoint. Uh, got my 2.2 kilowatt Chinese spindle all mounted up. It hasn't been wired yet. Uh, uh, well, I haven't set up the water cooling for it yet, but that's all sitting in a box over there, ready to go. Uh, I've got this puppy today, which is the Hitachi Inverter. It's a WJ200. It's a constant torque, uh, constant torque model that was recommended to me by the guy at um, by Ed at Drives Warehouse. Uh, yeah, it's also it's got the RS485 Modbus connector. And also USB, which I haven't been able to find out, find out too much information about that um, from the Hitachi manuals. All it basically says about it in the Hitachi manuals is that it uses USB for communication. I don't know if that's a um, USB to RS 45, 485 converter, which is in there. Um, it may be. So uh, I have to do a little bit of research. I might talk to Ed from driver's warehouse about that see if he can shed some light on it but if that's the case and that's gonna I'm not gonna have to worry about a RS485 to RS232 converter which will make things a little bit more simpler and eliminate all the moving parts so here's the gecko drive all set up uh, my battery's about to run out so I'm gonna make this quick so let's open up mark 3 and here's the Pro XML that I got from uh, Gecko. Just a reset. There we go, all up and running. And here's the table I'm going to be putting it in. Uh, I've spent a couple of days making this. I've uh, got a comms cabinet down here which I'm going to put everything in. A bit dusty at the moment. I only just finished building it so it's going to house the computer and everything. And yeah. I'll get some more videos up soon. Thanks for watching.